Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful day, here in the end times, in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the Oasis of Freedom, somehow we are at Thursday, March 3rd, 2022, and time marches on as I wrap up my big adventure here. Uh, <laughs> in the Point Lonesome Swamp. <coughs> so anyway, uh, I'm just procrastinating getting back to work. So I'm, uh, you know, the truck is heading out of here on April 5th. It's pullout date. So I took this ad out on Craigslist uh, a couple of days ago, looking for somebody heading to New York, maybe from Florida maybe wanting to split the driving and that uh good god whatever that gas bill is going to be to drive a big ass truck from florida to new york with whatever the five dollar gas is so anyway anyone who's ever advertised on craigslist knows about the scammers i'm always entertained by these scammers <clears throat> so uh i was checking today's scammer report and got into this little exchange with somebody on Craigslist and uh, <laughs> thought this was a humorous story so uh, open up my email good morning I have three suitcases three suitcases to transport to my son in East Brunswick, New Jersey. I will be traveling to St. Louis, Missouri on the 26th and won't be able and won't be back until the 8th. So I will be able to bring these suitcases to you before I leave on March 26th. Please respond, thank you. Please. How much should I contribute? I am conveying them through you because the ticket that my son bought does not allow luggage and I am a volunteer chaplain on a fixed income and cannot afford to carry my things by air. Thanks. I will open every suitcase so you feel comfortable that you are carrying only my clothes and my suitcases. Thank you. So my, my response to this man was, no thank you, chaplain. That was really lame, even by scammer standards. Five minutes later, I get this response. I do not understand you, sir. You can call Advent Health Hospital and ask about me. I am not a scammer. These are my suitcases. <laughs> so I responded back to the good chaplain. I am not going anywhere near New Jersey, and I am looking for someone to help drive I would recommend Greyhound if they are still in business. Good luck. And I thought that was the end of it, but no. Here comes another email. What will I scam from you entrusting my luggage to you? And my response was, I guess there are still some innocent lambs in the slaughterhouse. Your number gets fewer every day. Please use Greyhound and do not turn over your luggage to some stranger you met on Craigslist. And his response, okay, sir, thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, Lord, so I guess I should be a little bit embarrassed. But these goddamn scammers, he, he, you know, I, I guess this guy is 
honestly uh, wondering why I would think someone asking me, uh, particularly someone calling themselves a chaplain, uh, trying to get luggage uh, from uh, Florida to New Jersey might be a scammer. Uh, maybe wanting me to, uh, I, I don't know, mule uh, about uh, three suitcases worth of cocaine or what else. Anyway, all right. Long live the Craigslist scammers. And here come the airboats cranking up. All right enough procrastinating with Craigslist, but if anyone does want to head from Florida to New York, or if you know anyone down in this area of the country wanting to get to that area of the country on April 5th, please get in contact with me. All right, I am back to work. Bye, guys.